Hey, I just realized something that us um, full-on Max users have been taking for granted for a while that is going to be now new to all of the Max for Live users, which is uh, live, uh, excuse me, Max 6. Uh, it's just we've we've had it for a while in, in full-on Max, and now it's officially in Max for Live. Uh, we've been on 5.1.9 for so long in Max that I kind of forgot. So... Let's talk about Max 6 a little bit. Where, where are all the improvements? Uh, what's going on? You know, first it's like oh, it got all kinds of improvements to the audio engine. There's like 64-bit support, 64-bit audio, um, yeah, all kinds of great under-the-cover things. But one of the biggest things that they focused on is usability, which is really, really, really important for Max for live users because... Well, you know, let's face it. You know, a lot of people coming from the Max, uh, from the live side. You know, were they weren't programmers. They're they're not. You know, people who are like drawn to interactive arts programming and all this kind of stuff. You know, they're, they're producers. They're they're musicians. So uh, usability is really, really, really important, and accessibility is really important. And that's something that's really been you know enhanced with Max Six. It's 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 you know immediately uh, pretty obvious. And there's lots of you know nice eye candy in here. I've got two windows open here. I've got a Max for Live window open. Uh, Max, this is six six point one really. And then I've got a good good you know older school five point one point nine window open over here. Um, the first thing you immediately see is you know these kind of angular straight lines. You know, yuck, right? <laughs> Uh, and but then over here you've got these these cool like curvy lines right yeah big deal all right yeah that's true that's not a big deal <laughs> but the moment you start adding devices the moment you start writing patches it becomes really really obvious that it's you know designed for usability here like for instance i want to create a new object i say oh new uh live arrows look at all this information about what's going on right vectorized arrow user interface object perform you know it tells me immediately kind of what's going on i could choose one it's even got a little extra help down here open up uh, documentation immediately it's you know really designed well from from a developer's point of view or you know a novice developer's point of view or, or just you know max the the environment is, is so rich that there's you know you're always learning stuff i'm always learning stuff you know over here it's like okay new live arrows okay yeah all right there's the arrows you know um so let's look at other things that you know about it that's uh, for instance say you've got a, an object over here the cycle and i want to like find out about it or do something you make a quick jog over here you'll see you get this wheel and this is really helpful as well you can immediately like you know click on it open the object inspector the help the reference lock it this is kind of cool you can lock individual objects now you can't do that over here I don't think I don't, I've never been able to do that. So I come back over here, a quick, uh, you know, scrub that over again. Whoops! It's like that window. I'll scrub over again, uh, and I will. Oh, did I, oh, I unlocked it already. Whoops! Okay, scrub over there. Uh, see what messages will it take? Uh, the inlets, the outlets, uh, preferences. Use the large wheel. Use the small wheel. You know, kind of. I like to use the large wheel. Um, what else? Let's see attributes really cool you see these are the fixed uh, attribute things you can't change them with a message you have to change them as attributes and then also like as you float over things yeah the old one you could you could float over things um and you get your attributes if, if you're not familiar with this up in here options assistance i always use that it's like really cool really important especially when you're using like select and route and those kind of things that have a million outlets and you like lose track of what maps to what watch this right select and you've got one, two, three. Oh, I always misspell that. Three, four. You got all these things. And you want to know, oh, which one was which? Okay, I float over it. Oh, it matches that one. Oh, it matches that one. Oh, it matches that one. Really important, really helpful to know that. Okay, so I'm over that. Now I right click on that. Check this out. Attributes are right there. Messages are right there. I can get help right there. What can I get over here? Nothing. I can get those boring, you know, lines. So again, really, really helpful as a uh, developer. You know, the stuff going on in here. What, what I got going on there? Oh, like, hmm. did I break something? Okay, there we go. Um, attributes, also really important. You can see I can like just assign attributes here, uh, you know, and these things get set. So I can just like come over here and decide, uh, you know, what's, what are these things gonna be doing? 
initialize to over here don't have that option you know again I'd have to know all about it so max for live 6 6.1 big 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 usability improvements here you'll see there's a lot more access you know you get the sidebar you've got you know inspector the max window right there for you references right there explorer of objects right there very very cool you can you've got the other status bar down here sidebar over there all kinds of things to get information about the project that you're in you know preview modes on and off you got debugging access here turn the grid on and off all these things right in your face right where you need them um, show object explore bang there it is right there you know uh, freeze your device and so on let's see what else we got you know as if that wasn't enough there's all kinds of great new features but I think that you know like I said usability 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 you know it's really about making it accessible and uh, that's the big message I think uh, you'll see other things other differences there's lots of new uh, lots of new objects like you know I find this is a neat one there's now right route pass it's kind of uh, you know a lot more flexibility in how you pass messages around how you route them you can like the route pass will actually route a message but keep it all intact which is something new um is dozens and dozens uh, of, of new things you can you can get at um yeah so another great reason to think about upgrading to live nine and uh if you are coming from live eight and you uh, my understanding is you you can upgrade to live nine without upgrading the live suite and if you already own max if you own max five and you upgrade to live nine standard you will be upgraded to max six which is again pretty awesome but for the additional what 40 50 bucks uh considering what you get with suite uh, which is all that extra sound where you get like 40 gig of you know sound files and all that kind of great stuff all the, all the new uh ableton live packs and the orchestral instrument collection and all these things i think it's a pretty impressive upgrade even on the sweet side I, i'm going to throw down the extra money for it okay and that's enough rambling uh, my two cents on why you want to upgrade to live nine sweet and get the latest version of max for live take care see you tomorrow Looking forward, it's like Christmas Day.